Today in the Smuggler's Room, we're continuing with part two of our It's the new droid, DD3. Come on guys, every time I do an intro for this project. He's worried about the new droid taking his place. Does not compute, terminate. That's his answer to everything, terminate. You will be destroyed. That's coming up. <laughs> What's up you awesome geeks? I'm Brian and welcome to the Smugglers Room. This week, this chubby geek is thrilled to again be sponsored by Programming Electronics Academy to bring you part two of our custom Star Wars DD3 concept droid. As we mentioned last week, this droid is inspired by the amazing artwork of Steven Corman. So, if you haven't seen part one, get over there and watch that so that you can watch this and be completely caught up. Again, Steven, thank you so much for the inspiration and allowing us to take a stab at building your droid. All right, enough chatter, let's get into the build. Once again, we start with this little guy's backpack. In the reference material I have from Steven Corman, I don't actually have visibility of the pack from the back. So we're taking a little creative license here and coming up with what I think it could look like. Specifically, we wanted to add some lighting to the pack and an interesting recess panel where we can add some additional greeblification. Now, if you don't recognize these pieces, they're coax barrels that we're installing in the pack and then terminating a length of coax wire similar to what you have connected to your satellite or cable box. The wire I have on hand has a gold jacket that I remove to expose the core and then pop on a couple of RF connectors. Then we can use these between the pack and the body of the droid. You can find coax and all these types of pieces at the big box stores and on Amazon. I'll put some links in the description below. When I take apart electronics, I gut everything. And that includes the circuit boards inside. These boards make for really interesting recess and interior details. A little silver spray paint and you're good to go. I don't know what I'm doing. I took all this apart and I'm trying to get us out of here. What am I gonna do with all this stuff? What are you doing? Our friend Jay gave us this really cool mind control thingamabob and the interrogation droid wanted it installed. But I don't know what I'm doing with any of this electronics. You need Programming Electronics Academy. Yeah, I do. Wait, what? Yep, with Programming Electronics Academy, they have a huge library of content that'll help you learn not only Arduino electronics, but programming with Arduino as well. You'll be entertained, and you'll have all the knowledge you'll need to take on any project with Arduino. Good, I'm gonna go get signed up right now and put all this back together. Awesome. By the way, what did he mean about mind control? I don't know, it was something about mind control over you and building an army of interrogation droids and world domination, something like that. Huh, well that's not ideal, but let's get back to the project. Okay, so this droid has two domes on the top and bottom, and I wanted to snag another little design element that Steven Corman did in some other artwork that I haven't shown you. In another droid design that he's done, you can see here that he has some openings with what looks like recessed domes, so I wanted to add that to this little guy. So we purchased some half ornament globes from Hobby Lobby and then used a hole saw to open up the dome and then install the ornament half. It's a pretty simple process and I think it gives a great effect to the piece.
to say, geeks, it might appear like things are going along smooth, and it's just another day in the life of a smuggler's build. But here is a perfectly great flaw that I need to point out. I didn't put these styrene pieces on correctly. On one half of the body, they're way too big. And on the other half of the body, I simply didn't glue them on the way they were supposed to go to match the artwork. The truth is, guys, this project really has kicked my butt and there's no other way to say it. When we were in the design phase, I scaled the body incorrectly and it's too big compared to the artwork. I also had problems with the 3D prints and they're kind of wobbly and uneven in spots. I cut the center rings about 10 times before I got them right. There's fingerprints in the paint because I was impatient. The blue doesn't match the color of the artwork either. And I'm gonna have to be a straight up criminal when I weather this thing to hide all of my crimes. But you know what? In truth, it's all good. Geeks, things are gonna go wrong in the shop. Your project can take unexpected turns and not go as planned. Nothing is perfect and no one is either. So take a deep breath and remember, you're doing this because it's an escape from normalcy. It's a chance to be creative and it's supposed to be fun. So keep it that way. Now I want to point out that we tried to manufacture or find as many parts for this project as possible. However, there are a few things that we 3D printed and that includes the vent for the front of the body. This vent is from an astromech and it was 3D printed at two thirds scale size to match this build. I'll put a link to where we found this file and the creator in the show notes below for you. So here we are, DD3 is painted, details are on, and we have a good start on the weathering, but it's far from alive at this point. That's right, we need the electronics added and programmed for our droid, and that's gonna change everything. Now is a really great time to jump over to Programming Electronics Academy and get started on your Arduino and electronics education. 
in addition to their amazing free content. For the month of November, if you sign up for their monthly or annual subscription, you get 20% off for the month of November if you use the code SMUGGLER, so please take advantage of that. Thank you again, Michael, for partnering with us on an amazing project adventure. Also, don't forget to give Steve Corman a follow on Instagram. He's an incredible artist. Steve, thank you again for the inspiration for this project. Geeks, we are getting closer, and with this project, I need to figure out what the next steps are of building something out of nothing. You good? <laughs> Go. I need you to stop laughing. <laughs> okay.